Hello YouTube, I am back and I'm going to be doing a request reaction here. Rocket252, you have asked me to react to the mixtape uh, Tracy's Manga by Little Tracy. Uh, and also the song Jousting, but I will get to that when the album comes out, which I believe is just next week now, so that won't be too long. But Tracy's Manga, actually let's speak about how what I know about Little Tracy. I have never listened to a Little Tracy song, but I have listened to his features on Little Peep tracks. So I know that Little Peep and Little Tracy, they were they were basically like good friends and they collaborated often. Um, but from what I'm gathering here too, Little Tracy has had a career or has been making mixtapes or albums for about at least six years now. But, you know, it's one of those art artists, like one of those rappers where not everything is put on streaming platforms because of they were really deep into that SoundCloud era of music. Um, I'm pretty sure Tracy's Manga is as far back as I can go when it comes to albums on Apple Music. Um, but this is by no means one of his first mixtapes at all. But, um, yeah, I'm not really sure how I'd feel about... Um, about Little Tracy. I'm um, Little Peep. I like some. I like a lot of Little Peep's tracks, actually. But Little Peep also too has an insane amount of output of music. I mean, he was just like Little Tracy in the sense of SoundCloud era. They release a lot of songs quickly, and you know, not all of them are the same consistent quality. Um, but I do think that the albums that they released posthumously um, for Little Peep, except for the Everybody's Everything uh, album, I really, really had a distaste for that. They should not have released that. But Come Over When You're Sober Part 2, that had a lot of great tracks, actually. But, I, you know, we don't need to talk about Little Peep. We're here to talk about Little Tracy. Let's get into this mixtape, Tracy's Manga. Yo, I got some girls in my jeans, it don't fit. She got some ass in her jeans, it don't fit. Okay. My don't fit. Yeah. Just still talking about the jeans. I like her friend. Ooh, very cloud rappy. I'm glad you recommended me some cloud rap rocket. I'm fucking cloud rap. Hit it from the front, then from the back. Hit it from the front, then the back. You know what I mean? Priorities. Like the other two? No friends. Okay, first song on this mixtape here, Don't Fit. Cool. Cool. Um, I'll have to listen to this again, or I already know I'm going to have to listen to the whole mixtape again. But this um, is a pretty simple track, but the trap hi-hats mixed with like the instrumental cloud backing here. Um, I like it too, because obviously anything that sounds like that, very reminiscent of Playboy Cardi, but definitely not the same production style as Playboy Cardi. But... Um, yeah, asked won't fit, it got cash. Pretty simple when it comes to that, but I don't mind that. That is sort of the output that we're trying to look for here in this type of rap scene. Um, cool. I give it a vibe pass. I get that neck from her, so don't spend no check on her, okay? She mine. Okay. Come again. Um, okay, so I'm noticing too that this, the, this, these two songs already, and I'm assuming the other uh, seven tracks, are still pop rap oriented as well in many ways. Um, it's got... Its structure is very simple. It's very simple. It's not trying to uh, take you down any narrow corners. Okay, you're you're getting what you paid for, um, and I I think it works to many degrees. Uh, lyrically, Little Tracy um, paints enough of an image of what he's rapping about. It's very simple um, themes that are you know almost every rapper's oof of works usually 
Um, but I think it works to a certain degree. Obviously, though, the one problem is um, it works for the first half. Second half is just, okay, I get it now. Um, beat is nice. I like this beat, I think, better than the first song. But th these beats, I am noticing, though, again, I mean, I <laughs> this is how I feel about the Ariana Grande's new album. Um, these beats are still backing. They're still backing tracks, basically, for him. And I disagree with the notion that for rap music, beats should just be backing tracks. They have to go one in one. Uh, there has to be something engaging about the beat that changes, or at least the song has to be so damn catchy and such a pop hit that it doesn't matter. Does Come Again feel that way? No. I doubt that it would ever get there. Do I think it's a good song? Um, yeah, it's fine. I don't mind this, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, little Uzi Vert is what he reminds me of, actually. Decent bit. I fuck it and put it on bus like a Glock Me and my brother sit together like lost Bad bitch, good talk Ice in my mouth, look like I got sock Her pussy wetter than a Ice in my mouth, like I got sock Double cup Bust on that bitch like a Glock Bust on that bitch like a Glock If you think about it, him busting on someone Like a Glock is quite a pilot image I'm with that bitch in Celine Now she all in magazines I got that dirty on me When I need the money all up on me Okay, um, like a Glock featuring Famous Dex here. First off, I'll just comment quickly on Famous Dex's performance here. It kind of just goes by the wayside, um, because everything kind of bleeds into one here, but the one good thing about this bleeding, um, is the energy. Um, I think the energy stays consistent throughout the whole track. You know what I mean? Into the refrain, busting like on that bitch like a Glock, and the repetition of it, it's and the beat and like the punch, you know, the punch that comes after the hi hats, it's just like rushing in, rushing through. Uh, and I think I enjoy that. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. She love me, she from London, ask me when I'm coming. I smell good, but my blood smell like I cut up some onions. You was an African boy, boy. Cut up some onions. I got the chips like a hoy, hoy. Orange chicken, my sauce dripping, she finna lick it all up. Orange okay. tea, she a freak, she want to dig in her butt. Smoking boo in the boot, I sauce dripping. Orange chicken, I got orange sauce dripping. I don't know what the orange chicken is supposed to yeah. actually mean. Here. Orange chicken. Okay, orange chicken. I think this is the lowest impact song so far. The chorus works, it's fine. The cloud instrumentation's fine. Like this is the problem, right? These most all these songs, they're engaging. They're engaging enough that I can sit here and I can listen to them and not really overly have too many problems. But the thing is, is I need to find some sort of like personal identity within little tracy to really understand what's going on here because initially when it comes to this cloud rap scene or just even trap you need to prove yourself and why you're different is little tracy doing that for me right now no he is deaf he isn't but these songs need to be listened to more than once like is this catchy enough you know what i mean to prove that you know what you're doing lines he says some silly shit, and I like it, but it's more or less the same. It's not given in any clever way, you know what I mean? So I just have to take it at face value and go, all right. Orange Chicken, yeah. Um, like, I don't hate any of these songs. Uh, like, I definitely don't hate any of these songs, but I feel very, like, they're very inoffensive. Is basically the best way to put it. See, this is the problem I have with mixing these. The production or the mixing of this song is drastically different than any other song. Okay. 
Okay, Rack Aid here with Uno the Activist. This, I mean, compared to the other four tracks, this is easily a highlight, I feel. This is definitely my favorite song so far. First off, mixing. Wow. I mean, this is already louder than all the other tracks. This is the mix that all the other tracks should be at. But I understand that back in the era of the SoundCloud rap, like I'm assuming this was on SoundCloud before it was on anywhere else, these people do not mix and master their music um, to the umpteenth degree. Um, and I can handle that, but it's just, it hinders on my experience. Regardless, I like this song. Uh, I like its ad libs. And I like this like collage of sound that kind of comes with the, when the refrain rack aid is coming on there. Lyrical bars. If Uno was first, I think Uno was first. The flow there was good. And there was just this consistent energy. Little Tracy. Um, I kind of was just getting more of the la less the same lyrically, so I kind of just zoned out for that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I see some promise in this song. I really do. Alright, wait, hold up. I don't really have much feelings about this track. This is a short, breezy song. Beat kind of kicks in, but I feel very indifferent about it. Uh, and Little Tracy is just kind of bringing in some mediocre bars, bro. Like, it's just mediocre. Like, lyrical-wise, like, if I'm getting more of the same... And, like, look, it's not about trap music. And it's not about the simple lyricism of trap music. Because there can be clever, simple lyricism when it comes to that. Uh, this just... No. It just... It doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call of Duty, yeah, I'm on a mission. Like, I just don't like it. It's corny, bro. It's fucking corny. I'm a superstar. I got her acting shy. Tracy Minaj, now I got her acting by. She can't kiss her best friend. I know kiss goodnight. Is she too mad, but a little fly? R.I.P. Ty, I'ma see you in the sky. I'm finna blow. She finna blow me and her boyfriend going through a phone, but you ain't so no good. Okay, Menage et Toi. <laughs> More or less the same of um, what I was saying about what hold up. I mean, this is just silly lines um, that basically just feel reiterated um, from other tracks. They're just lazy, man. They're just lazy. They're not clever. Like, come on, think about it. You're sitting there right writing these like thinking of this in your head saying shit like call of duty yeah this is the worst one call of duty yeah i'm on a mission come on how easy is it to write a line that has more like simple like like you're trying to do these comparison type shit but it just is not working okay it's just throwing things together and some people like that sure some people like that if you just want to get into this flex track but I need something a little bit more for my flex tracks, okay? I want the personality of my rapper really tell me, you know, what he's got to prove or what she's got to prove for herself. Um, and this isn't proving much, okay? First off, beat-wise, right? This is already just 
more or less the same. I'm also kind of seeing like this last half of this mixtape um, is slightly a drop in quality compared to the first few songs too. Um, shit. I have no words to say about this song and this song. I want the cheese on my jaw. I could never find my whole click dressed in black just like a silhouette. I swear I wanted you so bad just like a cigarette. You're just like Wi Fi in any weather. Yeah, I do it better than the last guy that you've been with. I want this forever. Just like tattoos. GBC around my arm. That's where you should be. Hard out of my chest and go insane. In the bins with my crates, dressing all black like the tents. Silver chain wrapped on my wrist. I love when you kiss on my lips. So down, I'm so down. Didn't know you know now. Bro, I wanted you so bad, just like a cigarette. Just like a cigarette. Bye bye, baby girl, the way you disconnect. Four set on this. I like his. I like his voice. It's nice. It used to be Horsehead. I like this song better than the last three tracks, but it's still, um, I don't know. I'm still not breaking through this seal. Um, yeah. Uh, final, or if not final, first reaction uh, to this mixtape here. I don't really like anything here. Rackade, I think, has some creative personality or identity, but other than that, I really don't care about anything here. Like I said earlier, if this the songs get catchier, or especially to listening with headphones, I find I can get a different uh, appreciation uh, for certain songs. So maybe, but right now, like I, I can't think of anything that's really good to say about this. There's nothing. Realistically, Little Tracy has given me like, like there's no good lines. Every line that I'm hearing here is sort of okay. He just wanted to say some stupid shit that, you know, has been said in better ways before. Beat-wise, like I said earlier in the uh, video, backing tracks, nothing really engaging there. Right now I'm thinking this is a one out of 10. I'm thinking this is a one out of 10. I don't really have much value to give this, but I'm hoping that potentially I can like this more um when i re-listen to it um but i don't think my opinion is gonna change but we'll see Alrighty. um so my final views on little tracy's mixtape tracy's manga um this took me a while to get out so rocket i'm sorry uh, i know at that end of the video there uh i gave this a one out of ten um i'm thinking that was a little harsh I think though I'm thinking that was a little harsh. Um, when I look at this now as a whole project, I mean, it's just nine tracks, um, and it has the capability to have specific songs be catchy for a specific reason. Um, and I think that kind of changes my views on it. Lyrically, I'm still kind of, it's whatever, but it works slightly in what the point of his music is. Um, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to give this a five and a half out of ten. I think a five and a half out of ten. I, my opinion changed a lot. Um, this is still an average album. I, I'm indifferent for the most part, but it doesn't sound terrible. It's just not reaching heights that I would want it to take. Anyways, uh, if you guys want to see me react to anything in particular, um, just write a comment down below and thank you for watching. Peace.